In 2019, a patent application landed on the desk of the South African Patent Office. It was for a food container, and I'll talk a little bit more about the invention a bit later. But here's the crazy part. The inventor was an artificial intelligence, an AI named Dabas. South Africa granted the patent, and for the first time in history, an AI was the sole inventor on a patent. Although it wasn't widely reported at the time, the enormity of this question of whether a machine, an AI, can be an inventor was huge. How different the world would look if AI could legally be called inventors. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a Silicon Valley patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the legal battles, let's think about what's at stake if an AI or a machine could legally be called an inventor. First of all, there could be corporate control of technology on a massive scale. A single company with a powerful AI could churn out thousands of patentable inventions every day, every hour. More inventions than the system has ever seen. And if these patents were granted, a single company could lock down entire industries. Medicine, energy, manufacturing could all be walled off with large swaths of patents before anyone else had a chance to compete. And second, and this isn't so improbable, a company or a well-meaning scientist decides to release an AI into the wild or an open source AI that becomes sentient and starts thinking and feeling for itself and decides to start inventing and filing its own patents. Now, setting aside the patent costs and the filing fees associated with dealing with the patent office, and presumably an AI could get its virtual hands on some stray cash or Bitcoin, maybe it files its own patents by the hundreds or thousands without any company or any human inventor being involved. And when and if those patents were granted, begins enforcing those patents, either through the court system or on its own, engaging in self-help by interfering with those businesses that it perceives are infringing on its patents. The technology to do all of this currently exists today. The only thing that is missing is the legal framework that says an AI can be an inventor. One man says, yes, AI can be an inventor. The ensuing legal battle started with Dr. Stephen Thaler, the inventor of an AI machine called Dabas. Dr. Thaler has been described as a brilliant, if not somewhat reclusive scientist living in St. Louis, Missouri. Dr. Thaler's most famous invention, which he called the device for autonomous bootstrapping of unified sentience, or Dabas for short, he says invented on its own at least two inventions that were worthy of a patent. When it came time to filing the patents, Thaler did not list himself as the inventor, but rather only listed Dabas. According to Thaler, one of Dabas' inventions was a food container having a fractal surface containing ridges and pits. And these ridges and pits allowed the, the various containers to fit together in an interlocking way. Apparently, the mathematics involved to create these interlocking fractal surfaces is quite complex and required an artificial intelligence to be able to generate it. In filing this patent application, most patent offices rejected the application saying that an AI could not be the inventor on a patentable invention. However, South Africa said yes and the debate from that decision continues today. Okay, let's start with the United States. In the United States, the courts have decided that to be an inventor, you must be an individual. And an individual is a human being and it's not a machine. In Thaler versus Vidal, the 2022 Federal Circuit case, which decided this Dobbs issue, the courts stated that AI cannot be listed as an inventor on a patent application. The USPTO reinforced this in its 2024-2025 guidance when it stated that AI can assist 
but inventorship belongs to a human. The United Kingdom, the European Patent Office, and Australia all follow this same rule. And Switzerland just adopted this rule several months ago. So far, only South Africa has broken ranks and decided that an AI can be an inventor. But it's interesting to note here that South Africa does not examine the substance of a patent application for invention and patentability. And furthermore, decisions in the South African Patent Office are not precedents elsewhere. So why is U.S. law currently so firm on this? Well, first of all, in filing a patent application, the inventor must sign an oath or declaration affirming that they are the true inventor. And it's not possible for an AI to make this oath or declaration. Secondly, it's part of our legal system that inventors at some point in the future may need to take the witness stand and describe how they conceive the invention. And of course, it's not possible for AI to appear in court and to be questioned. And third, ownership and licensing of an invention depend on a provable legal chain of title. Who originally owns the invention? Is it the programmer, the end user, the machine itself? These aren't minor details. These form the backbone of how our patent system works. Our functioning patent system relies on enforceability, accountability, and a system of proper incentives. So what happens if you're using AI today to create your inventions? Say you're a scientist developing a new drug molecule using AI. If you as the human scientist chose the data set, set the parameters, and evaluated the results, that's probably enough for you to be listed as the inventor. Even though AI may have assisted in the calculations and creation of this invention. In this context, the AI can be thought of as a word processor who's assisting an author in writing a story. The word processor may check for spelling and grammar and even autocomplete sentences but it's up to the author to actually create the interesting story. We treat AI as any other advanced tool. Powerful, but it's not the inventor. Okay, that's all I have to say today about AI ownership of inventions. What do you think? Should AI be able to invent and to own patents? I'd be super interested in hearing what you think about this. What would a future look like if AI could be inventors. In the meantime, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you on the next one.